What's good, everybody? It's your boy Kama. Be back with another video. So, um, real quick, man. Um, I wanted to touch on um, Julio Julio Jones spotted with the uh, Cowboys because he on whatever the case may be. Um, at this point, do I think it's a possibility to get Julio? No. Do I think that? It's something to work for us to get Julio, no. Do I think that Steven Jones would take on the contract like that? No. But they done done a lot of things before I didn't think it was gonna be possible. However, I do think that Julio Jones is a um what was he, a nine ten year vet now? So he knows what happens. You know the clickbait that would happen if you spotted with one uh Different team, hood, hoodie on, the jersey, anything of that nature. Um, yeah, but real quick, what I would say is one thing to take into consideration, even though we know how cheap Stephen Jones is, one thing to take into consideration to me is the fact that he wouldn't have the same cap hit for us if we traded for him. I just want people to keep that in mind. So if, I don't know what his cap hit is. I didn't do homework on it because I didn't really care to because I didn't think it was um, a real story. I don't see it happening. But just example, if his cap hit is like 22 or 24 for Atlanta, like we had cut that in half and we paying maybe somewhere around 12, <gasps> excuse me, 12 million our cap hit for us or something in that, in that neighborhood. So do it. Like I will say this, does that make us a better team? Today, yes, it's just only on the fact that you kid yourself. You don't think Julio Jones is a better wide receiver right now than Mike Gallo. It just would be something for the short term, like uh, maybe I don't know how many years he got left on the contract. Maybe a two, three year rental because he's like thirty one. But that, to all that would tell me is, as of right now, we throwing the gloves in the ring, all no holes barred. Let's go get this ring. That's what that's that would, that's what that move would tell me. But um anyway, um I ain't posted a video in the past two days, but that wasn't by design because I have videos in the chamber, but I like the Wi Fi of where I was at, like it's it's terrible, man. I kept trying to upload, it kept sending me error messages, but it is what it is. I just said I scrap them, I'll just do a whole new one. Now I wanna get into something. Like I did a video about the Washington football team um defense how good were they really right so i just stumbled upon the, um, another video well um another um content creator and name by the name of little person brought up how good the eagles d line is that they passed for us it was number three in sacks or something something along those lines but i mean you can never the numbers are what they are right you're saying how they better than lost your football teams Pass rush. I think with the the Eagles, they always known for their front seven and stacking their front seven. So it's like for the past three, four years, they always looked at very impressive on paper. Like very impressive. Like getting hard grades and having Malik Jackson and you got Fletcher Cox and you got Graham and like I'm just speaking on last year. It looked at like very dangerous. There's no one picking Barnett and like it looked at dangerous coming in, but we all know they didn't perform up at the expectations. I don't think they was I don't have the numbers in front of me, but I know run defense wise they wasn't all that, like even get to the quarterback. You have Bradley Grant, like collectively, right? Like I explained in the Washington football day, right? Numbers can't be skewed, right? So look, you can play a couple of teams and they go unscathed or whatever the case may be, or your defense looks like they can't stop a nosebleed, right? Then you can play a Ben DiNucci on Sunday night, on Monday night, wherever that was, and you could play a Ben DiNucci and sack him quarterback with his first start, how many times you sack him. You could play a Bengals team who you who you tied with with the first overall pick and zero O line and sack him eight, nine times, how many times you sacked him? 
you could play the second or third string quarterback in San Fran and it's terrorize him basically. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's only 16 games. So if you get four games like that, like even though we blew them out with um, Andy Dalton, who's to say? I don't know how many sacks they had that game. They still could have had three or four because they could have had four sacks that game and it go unnoticed because we were moving the ball up and down the field. So we got pass happy. We were just trying to, like, we were just trying to keep our foots on their neck, so to speak. So that's a lot of times that's what happens because what happens is not, and this and this is no, not me saying that they don't have a good pass rush. This is just football one-on-one. What happens is the secondary is suspect. Even to today, they don't have a number two corner. So if you playing me, if, if I'm playing you, why would I keep running into the strength of your defense if that's your front seven? Why would I keep running into the strength of your defense and, and when I could just easily drop back, go through my progressions, throw for 300 yards, 350 for a touchdown, because there's no resistance there. Then Darren Sprint going to run game, play action. Like, it's crazy. I'm gonna, and as I did watch them, I'm going to put their picture up or their schedule right there so you can see for yourself. Their most impressive game outside of when they when they beat the Cowboys with Ben DiNucci, they held us to nine. I don't know what the stat line was for their defense, but I know it was amazing. I mean, it's just the truth. Y'all let me know y'all just think in the comments. It's your boy Kama. Always remember to like and subscribe. Salute.